Hey everybody, it's Cece here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to take the square knot in macrame and turn it into an alternating square knot pattern. If you haven't learned how to make the square knot yet, you will need that knowledge for this video. So I do have a tutorial on how to make the square knot. I'll display the link now and also it will be in my description below. I also have a free downloadable PDF guide called the Square Knot Bible, which has everything you need to know about the square knot for macrame. Make sure you download that one now. The link will be in the description below. Now this is a super helpful technique if you want to make a wall hanging, a handbag or even a cushion. So let's jump right in. So here I have 16 cores that I'm going to use to create the alternating square knot pattern and I have used two different colours so you can see what the cores are doing more clearly. So we'll start by making a row of square knots and we're going to use the pink cords as the working cords and the blue cords as the filler cords. So here I have my first row of square knots. Now I'm going to create a second row of square knots underneath this row of pink square knots. So to start the next row of square knots, I'll take two cords from the top square knot and two cords from the adjacent square knot and I'll use blue working cords with the pink filler cords and continue to do so across the row. You'll have two cords on the side of your work that won't be used. You'll notice that two strings are coming from one square knot and two strings are coming from the other square knot. So it sits directly underneath and in between the two above it. So now we have our two rows of square knots that we've completed and what we do is we just repeat that over and over again until we have the length that we want. So now I'm going to start another row but this time I'm going to go back to starting with the first four cords in the group and my working cords will now be the pink cords. And then when we do another row we go again with the blue working cords creating that square knot that sits underneath and in between the two above it. So now that I've taught you how to create an alternating square knot pattern, I have two little tips for you. The first one is to make sure that your rows are straight so that your work remains neat. And the second one is that you can play with how far apart you're spacing your knots to give different effects in your work. Here I have knotted the square knots tightly together so they create a neat effect like this. And here I have knotted the square knots further apart which creates this effect. So that's how you create the alternating square knot pattern. In my next video, I'll show you how to take this pattern and turn it into triangle and diamond shapes. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and you won't miss that video next week. Thanks for watching guys and here's to finding peace and creativity. Yeah! <laughs> that was alright, yeah, hey? Yeah, that was good. Okay, good. good. Oh. Alright, cool. <laughs>